Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Wasi from Flameline Visual Effects. Uh, today, we are creating particles logo and text animation. So, let's see what we will create today. Wow, it's look awesome. Before I start tutorial, I like to tell you, please subscribe my channel. Please hit the red button if you want more tutorials like this one. It's totally free. And thanks everyone for your support and love. One more thanks. In this tutorial, I'm using text to speech. It's really awesome. Hope you guys will enjoy it. So let's get started. First create a new composition. Let's call this main comp. I'm going with full HD settings. At 30 frame per second and duration make it 15 second. Then click on OK. Now import your logo into composition. You can always use text if you want. The process is the same for both text and logos. Now select the logo and drag it into your timeline. Let's change the quality to full. Now select the logo layer and press S. And scale it like this. Now select the layer and right click and choose pre-compose. Set it move all the attributes. And let's call this logo. Then click on OK. Now create a round shape layer. For this, go to your toolbar, and choose ellipse tool. Make sure, stroke is off. Then simply click and drag, and create a round shape. Then select the shape layer, and go to effects and presets window and search turbulent displace. And apply the effect, on shape layer and change some settings. Amount set at 54. And size set at 85. And complexity set at 10. Now select the shape layer and press S. And create a keyframe on scale. And set it 0. At the beginning of animation. Now go to around 10 seconds and increase the scale amount until the shape layer covered the whole screen cool now select the shape layer and pre-compose it select move all the attributes and click on ok now select the logo layer and change the track mat to alpha mat if you don't see the track mat button then simply right click then columns and choose modes then change the track mat to alpha mat now your logo looking something like this awesome now select both layers and pre-compose them let's call this logo comp 1 then click on ok now select the layer, and press Ctrl plus D, for duplicate the layer, and select the last layer and drag it something like this, and change the track mat to, alpha inverted mat. Now it looks something like this. Now select the first layer and go to effects and presets window, and search for, simple choker. Then select the effect and apply on to first layer and change the amount, minus 2. Then select both layers, and pre-compose them. Select move all the attributes, and let's call this logo comp 2. Then click on OK. Now go to your project window, and select shape layer comp, and drag it in your timeline and slide the layer something like this then select the logo comp 2 layer and change the track mat to 
alpha inverted mat. Then select both layers and pre-compose them. Select move all attributes and let's call this logo comp3. Then click on OK. Now we are create main part of this tutorial. Now we are create particles. So make a new composition. And let's call this particles. Then click on OK. Now go to project window. And select logo comp 3 layer. And drag it into your timeline. Make the logo layer 3D. Just click on this icon. Then hide the layer. Now create a new solid. And call this particles. Then click on OK. Then select the particles layer. And go to effect. Then go to trap code. And select particular. Now follow my steps carefully. Hope you create this same as mine. Press 0 to RAM preview. Great. It's look pretty awesome. Now select particles layer and go to effects and presets window and search for CC vector blur. Then select the effects and apply on particles layer. Now change some settings. Type set it perpendicular. Amount and map softness. Both set it 11. Again go to effects and presets window and search for sharpen. Then select the effect and apply on particles layers and change the amount to 180. Now it looks something like this. Now we are create dust particles. For this, create a solid and call this dust particles
Then click on OK. Select the dust particles layer, and go to Effect. Then go to Trap Coat. And select Particular. Create same. Which we have done before. Just change some settings. Follow my steps. Perfect. Now create a new adjustment layer. Then select adjustment layer and go to effect, color correction, curves. Then adjust some brightness and contrast. Now go to main comp, which we have create starting of the tutorial. Then hide the logo comp 3 layer and go to project window and select particles comp player and drag it into your timeline now create a background for this create a solid and call this bg and click on ok then put it below then go to effects and preset window and search for gradient trap. Select the effects and apply on background layer. Now change some settings. Ramp shape change to radial ramp. And change the start color to white. And end color make it gray. Ok perfect. Now go to project window, and select logo comp 1 layer, and drag it into your timeline. And slide the layer something like this. Now your logo looking like this. Select the layer and put it below in the particles layer now select particles and logo comp 1 layer and pre-compose them call this final and click on ok select final layer and press s and create a keyframe on scale at the beginning of the animation now go to around 15 seconds and scale it something like this Now create a new solid. Make it black color. And call this. Mask. And click on OK. Select the mask layer. And choose rectangle shape. And create a mask. Then select the mask layer. And change the mode to subtract. Now, our animation is complete. Press 0 to run preview. It's look pretty cool. If you like this video, 
please hit the like button, and subscribe my channel. It's totally free. See you next time. Have a great day.